Hello everyone. In the previous video of torque, we studied that if you have a bolt and if you want to open it up, you are required to exert a force. And with the help of this spanner, we were exerting some force, say F. And let us assume that from this point, I am exerting a force F in this direction. This point is called point of application of force and when you exert this force, force, you will see that this nut bolt starts turning. So the turning effect of force is called torque and this is the point from where the axis of rotation of this bolt will pass. So this bolt, when you apply the force like this, the bolt is going to turn like this and this will be the axis of rotation towards us or towards me there will be an axis of rotation about which the whole bolt is going to rotate now you have to extend a line in the direction of force this straight line is called line of action of force and our distance is that distance is the perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation to the line of action of force. So here we are talking about this distance, the axis of rotation like this. So from the axis of rotation, this distance, because you can consider the axis of rotation which is over here to be over here this axis of rotation which is going like this is touching this line of action of force by this perpendicular distance r. This angle is 90 degree, this is r. So torque is equal to this r which is the perpendicular distance from the line of action of force to the axis of rotation. If I try to draw it over here it will be on the diagram. So this r is the perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation to the line of action of force. So this torque is equal to r multiplied by f. Let us consider a situation in which we are applying a force in some different direction. Suppose this is the point at which I am exerting the force. So that point I am exerting a force like this. This is called point of application of force and now I am going to extend my force along a straight line. This line is called line of action of force. Now by applying this force, we can see that this bolt is going to turn like this. Now, this is the axis of rotation. This is the axis of rotation towards us. From here, I am going to draw a perpendicular line to the line of action of force. This distance would be my R. So torque over here would be equal to R multiplied by F but make sure that this R is the perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation to the line of action of force. Suppose if you are given this distance as L, let us consider that we are given this distance L. Now let us make a new diagram. So this is the bolt and from here to the point of application of force this distance is L that is this distance now this is the line of action of force this angle is 90 degree this is R 
सपोज आई गिव यू दिस एंगल एस थीटा यू कैन ऑल्सो कंसिडर द एंगल थीटा ओवर हियर ऑल्सो इफ दिस एंगल इज गिवन टू यू विद द हेल्प ऑफ एल सपोज एल इज गिवन थीटा इज गिवन एफ इज ऑल्सो गिवन टू अस बट वी डोंट नो वॉट इज आर सो बाय अप्लाइंग ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशियोज वी कैन इजिली फाइंड आउट आर फ्रॉम एल फ्रॉम हियर साइन थीटा इज इक्वल टू परपेंडिक्यूलर अपॉन हाइपोटेनियस सो दिस इज द परपेंडिक्यूलर दैट इज आर दिस इज द हाइपोटेनियस दैट इज एल सो आर इज इक्वल टू साइन थीटा मल्टीप्लाई बाय एल सपोज दिस एंगल इज गिवन टू अस then we can easily find out sin theta l is already given to us we can easily find out r f is given to us and we can then substitute in this formula and we can find out the torque